calculate the area bounded by the x-axis and the curve y equals 6 minus x minus x squared. So as we look, we see this uh, minus x squared. We know it is a parabola that opens down. Let's go ahead and I'm going to factor a negative out and put this in descending order and factor that. So that's going to be x and x, and it looks like plus 3 minus 2. So there's going to be an x-intercept at x equal negative 3 and an x-intercept at x equal 2. And that's important because if I need to find the area bounded by the x-axis and the curve, I need to know where it crosses the x-axis. So we know we've got this parabola that opens down that crosses the x-axis at negative 3 and at 2. So here's the graph, and we are looking to find this area. So we can see it's going to be the integral from negative 3 to 2 of 6 minus x minus x squared dx. So we can now evaluate this integral using the fundamental theorem. So we need an antiderivative here. That's going to be 6x minus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3 and we need to evaluate that from negative 3 to 2. So that's going to be f of b, which is 2, minus f of a, which is negative 3. So it looks like we've got 6 times 2 minus 2 squared over 2 minus 2 cubed over 3, and then minus and I'm going to put a bracket because we've got to subtract the whole thing evaluated at negative 3. So 6 times negative 3 minus negative 3 squared over 2 minus negative 3 cubed over 3. So simplifying that, it looks like we have 12 minus 2 minus 8 thirds. And then we're going to subtract here. This is negative 8 minus 9 halves and plus 27 thirds which is 9. And so combining all of those we get a common denominator of sixths and combining all those we would get 125 sixths. So that is this area.